Watch this. Watch that little creature there. <laughs> little iguana. Come here, iguanas. Look at them. They are funny creatures. All right, Faith Life friends, what happened to Mr. Iguana? What can we learn from this lesson today? Why am I showing you about iguanas? Um, number one, I think they're ugly. <laughs> you may not think so, but anyway, they got, they got spikes on them and their claws and their feet, and they got this presentation of don't mess with me. But what happened when I approached the iguana? He run from me. Now they say when iguana gets pinned in a corner and they feel like they can't go anywhere that they will whip the tail at the person. I have yet to find an iguana that will whip the tail at me. But uh, that's not my point. <laughs> my point is it's recorded in scripture that Jesus Christ stripped the devil of all of his powers. And he's given to the church the keys. The keys to the kingdom, that whatever we bind on the earth is bound in heaven, whatever we loose on the earth is loosed in the heavens. And he said that I've given to you this authority and nothing by any means of the enemy will harm you. Now, when we submit to God and we resist the devil, what happens? Just like Mr. Iguana in a representation did so well today, he fleed. <laughs> yes, the enemy will flee. When we are in humility and submission unto the Lord and we use the word of God with the sword of the spirit rightly and use it in such as no weapon formed against me will prosper. Every tongue that would rise against me in a judgment is condemned. Whosoever is assembled against me will fall for my sake. And go through scriptures like that, but put your name in there where me is. It becomes very personalized when you do that. And you begin to get just the deeper understanding of it. It's more personalized because that's what God intends for it to be. That you get it. You get the understanding of it. So I want to leave you with this today. That use your authority. Don't become proud in it. Because God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. So make sure that you first submit to God. That's humility. Resist the devil, and Mr. Iguana will flee from you. Have a blessed day, Faith Life friends, and we'll talk again soon. Take dominion, take dominion.